Okay, so this is a video, uh, I can't remember who requested it now, so about the first section of a loud jar. Uh, first section of a loud jar, you do to be specific, so the old frame first form. And it's um, a slightly modified version uh, that mixes a little bit of a new frame in with it um, that my teacher came back from China with uh, Christmas last year, I think it was, Christmas year before. Anyway, ages ago now. Uh, it's a little bit different from the traditional Chen village, but then every teacher does a slightly different version anyway. So it's uh, wherever you go, you're going to learn a slightly different one. So it just emphasizes more of the twisting and coiling movements, but uh, is a little bit more in the new frame. Anyway, let's get back in. So we'll start off uh, going through it start to finish, and then we'll just highlight a few little bits. But nice and slow. So first off, I'll turn and face that way. Might be easier to follow. Something down. Stepping up. Relaxing the hips. Open and focus. And then a turn, a little turn from the waist to the right. And then as your weight goes onto the right leg, ward off to the left. So remember, ward off, big open space, right hand following. Second ward off, so now the right arm, big open space. Shift the weight, and remember, turn your foot. And then double drag and push, get a sense of moving something along. Bring your back foot in, and then step. And then again, turn from the waist, with a turn to the right, widening up the spring, and then the hands coming down, body sinks, and then as your body turns, open. Step in, thick lunge, so front foot very lightly on the ball, arm swings up, right fist, and a hand coming in for belly button, coming down. And then this comes back up with the knee, and then drop. Lazy tying code. So again, turn from the waist to the left. Get a sense of lifting, and then get a sense of turning, moving something out of the way, and then dropping down. While the other hand's coming up. Weight's coming back, and then your foot and your hand move together. So the foot moves, hand comes across, the other hand sweeps up. So your hands wrist round about on your centre line. Go this way, so as usual, wind up the spring by turning your body. So turn to that. Rolling the hands, push with the left foot, and again the waist turns. Let the elbow go out, let the wrist go out, let the hands coming back, and then settling. So weight two thirds on the right side, elbow in line with the leg, left hand on the waist. From that ceiling and closing. So, ward off. This sense again, a big round open posture, moving something out of the way, but not too far. Just in the knee there, keep it open. And then rolling back. Just sit back, let the arms follow. Hands coming up, again, don't be tempted to go too far. Hands coming into the chin, grabbing your parrot. Turn, make your foot turn a little bit maybe, and then step in so you're facing the same way as your foot. Down. Maybe go a little bit there across, a little bit down, or a lot down. Just really matter. Main thing is your arms are slightly bowed, pushing with the heels of the palms, and your body's behind the movement. And from there, closing up, you turn to the side. As your body turns, draw the arm in, the other hand lifting up slightly, looking along your fingers. Then we're going to go this way. So again, turn from here, make your whip. Have a sense of lifting, so if there's something here, lifting up underneath it. Lift up. Other hands come into your waist, and then step. In front of the shoulder, elbow. Sinking slightly, and then back. Hands lifting up, lift. Weights on this side, and then you can push from this leg. And let the arm follow. Elbow goes out just a little bit past your leg, and then as you turn to face front, sink. So now two thirds on this side. I'm going to turn this foot in slightly so you've got a nice secure root. So single width. From there, roll back high. Come back low as if you're reaching for something. This foot pushes, body follows, arms follow. This is drawing over to the right, and then lowering down. So this leg should feel like really screwed into the floor now, from there we're going to bounce from there. Turn, 
Brooklyn, just since you're new to the air to the way, step in, and again to an empty stance, hardly any weight on this leg. Lift up. Light fist coming down into your palm. Shoulders relaxed. And then pounding more to the second time. So lift up and then drop. Now I don't want to go to shot, so I'm just going to come back a little bit here. So in the old form, we used to go backwards a step on this. Now we're going to go forwards. So step forwards. Imagine you've got a rolling pin. In fact, it just so happens, rolling pin. As you step, you roll and you roll and pin down. Rolling rounds. So right hand under as your foot goes forwards. If you've got somebody handy, have their elbow there, the wrist there, so you're rolling the arm, and their body will follow. So, you're rolling, and then the wrist comes in, back foot pushes you forwards, just a small pressing movement, squeezing forwards. Now your back foot can come in. Open, get a sense of separating the parts. And then relax. So the hands stay in front. You're not going out to the side. You're not pushing your chest out. Just relax. Have a sense of the arms guard in the space. Then from here, again, we're going to turn from here. So to the left. Green dragon throws pearl. Have a sense of holding down as your other hands coming in. Ready to make a space. So you've made the space on this side. Then you're going to turn on the ball of this foot. Just a little bit. And then sit back and push with the other hand through the space you made. Make a space, push through it. And now this leg's empty. So you transfer the weight backwards. Then double dragon push, just like before. Get a sense of lifting up slightly, bringing you back to two. And then step. As you step, pulling backwards. As if you're pulling something over your leg. Then your mobile phone maneuver. So sink. Turn, but not too far. Hands coming round, the other hands just pushing downwards. Hands coming round towards the chin. So, pick up, make a whip with the left hand, back foot pushing you forwards. Lift up, so again it's lifting up, bum bum here. So, and then the other hand is sweeping across, again, body turns just a little bit, elbow goes out, wrist follows. And then everything sinks. So this elbow pinches off just slightly behind the leg. This elbow slightly in front of the leg. That's diagonal. Diagonal width. And then from there, grasping knees, sink. Get a sense of the little fingers leading. Drawing your hands down to around about knee level. And then sit back. Drawing. So this foot's empty now. Pushing away. And then three diagonal steps. Pull back, but keep the body sunk. Avoid the temptation to lift up. Stay sunk down into your hip. Pull down here. And then step. Elbow, palm, and you're pushing just slightly up to the side as if you're moving something out of the way. One. Elbow, Number two. Turn, holding down. Now, how much you bring your weight back, just bring your weight back as little as possible. So it's not a big comeback and then turn. And it was turning in place, close up straight away. So you're moving something out of the way. And then step, you get back foot pushes, body rotates slightly, pushing slightly off that direction. Again, stay sunk, elbow in line with your legs, so you're not going too far over here. And then one more again, turn in place rather than bringing all the weight back. Pivot on the heel, have a sense of moving something out of the way. This time the arm stays high instead of going down. So first one goes down low, second one stays high. Arm and leg coming in, so cross. Third step, and then the upper kick box. Let the arms drop. As your weight goes left, open. Weight comes back into a hidden punch. So make a fist, imagine drawing something in towards you, not too close, but just in towards you. And the other hand's coming around as if you're pushing something in to the way. Again, getting back to my prop, drawing in here, pushing out of the way at the same time. Okay. So drawing in, making a fist, pushing out, and pushing by turning the body. And then from there, a 
wash up before we use it. It's a light fist, not a tight fist, just a light fist. The right foot's pushing into the floor, so your body's over this side, your body's turned a little bit this side as well. The right foot pushes, as your body turns, keep it upright, avoid temptation to lean. Elbow comes back, pulling in. Fist goes out. And as usual, keep the arm long, but not like it. If it's locked, it's tight, we don't want to do that, you're going to hurt your, your arm if you go fast. And traditionally, it's some faging movements, so it's done a little bit faster. So a little push, a little turn, and the arm's gone Okay, but not time, so it's not. That's not what we're after. We want springy, but everything coordinated. So wind up a little bit, and then push. <coughs> and then from there, sweep under. So it's like you're moving something out of the way, clamping on top. Turn your foot, so you've got a nice secure root, and then push up with shoulder and hip. Elbow follows, wrist follows, of course, separating the knees. This hand's pulling down at the same time. And then from there, turn your front foot, stepping in. Move a bit of space. So, shoulder and elbow, round. Actually, I'm doing a slightly different form. <laughs> this is the stage where it is. This foot moves. So, shoulder and elbow. Around in a little circle. It's like you're drawing a little circle in the sand. This is what I could do with some sort of thing post standing up. I'll try and do one in there. So, foot goes around in a circle, arm follows, and then forwards. And just going forwards, the other arms already there, going into pounding water. Lift up, going down, and then finally lift up again, and then drop. Breathe in. Ah. That's it. Right, what can I use as a quick prop? I hope we might be something around there I could pinch. Don't go away. So this is my prop. Don't to go too far into the ground. So coming around the first bits, going punch, smooth, come under here somewhere, sit around, sweep under, shoulder and elbow. As this arm's going around backwards, this stuff comes around and then flip it. So ideally it comes around, hook the foot, and then flip up that way. So ideally it's used as a counter to a counter to a throw. Difficult to visualise, and that's the gist. So it's going round in a circle, and then hook, and then through. If you've got somebody's leg you can practice on, even better. Ah, right, we're going to go through it one time. This time, I'm not going to stop and start, I'm not going to use any props, I'm not going to describe it too much, just something for you to follow. Okay. So, from the top, I'll come over this way a little bit, give myself a little bit more room. Stepping out. Open and close. Circle. Move up one. Move up two. Double drag and push. Stay rooted. Wind up. And then go forward. Step into big plums. Pounding water. Lazy tying coat. Sit back and then step. Turning and step. Roll off. Rolling. Hands coming in and then step in and push. Wind up. Make the whip. Lift up. Step, bump, back. Turn your foot in, step into the left side, single one. 
from that robot kind. Sit back. Lowering down. And open. Step in, pick plums. Pounding water. A man rolling. I a rolling pin here. Step forwards, rolling the pin. A man wristing to the forearm. Press. And then as your back foot comes in, brain spreads wings and guarding the space. Bring your dragon toes pearl. Hold down, sit back and turn. Push. Double dragon push. Don't move our foam maneuver. Diagonal whip. Coming around. Open. That's it, great. And then from there, grasp your knee, sink. Close up. Sit back. Back stand. And three diagonal steps. Avoiding rolling pins. Open. One. So, hand goes down as you turn. Close up. Two. Remember pushing slightly to the sides. Hand stays up as you turn. Step three. Right left as you open. Weight right, sticking into your right hip, body turn a little bit right. Right foot pushes to get you going, and then <coughs> arm swings under, turn your foot in, shoulder and elbow extend. And imagine the stick down here, it's around, foot hooked around, and then <coughs> from the floor with it nice and slow. Picking plums, pounding more. Breathe in, one, and out. Just to close off a section. How's that? Hopefully it was useful. And let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I've got raspberry canes I'll be seeing soon if I don't move those.